Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're going to discuss rest periods for hypertrophy training. So we have to sit back and first we're going to start all these videos. We're just going to ask what is the purpose of this training? So if it's hypertrophy, I'm trying to put on the most amount of muscle that I can. Um, what kinds of training will give me that? Well, the idea is basically to maximally deform your muscle, maximally uh, stress the, the like force conduction through the muscle or the musculotendinous unit. And that's what gives us this genetic drive to make more muscle. Now, you have to do a lot of diet stuff, but we're not talking about that today. We're talking about rest periods. So if what is required is this force mechanical deformation of the muscle, then I, I need to rest enough to where I can access that stuff. It's not just about fatigue, right? People go running and they get fatigued, but they don't necessarily put on muscle doing that, right? So we have to, we have to sit back and we have to think that it's not just fatigue in general, it is fatigue in a given musculotendinous unit, in a given muscle belly. So with hypertrophy, we need to kind of, you know, we don't need as much rest as we need during a strength exercise because there isn't this added element of purely neural stuff going on. Like it's not the, the nervous system necessarily that's getting fatigued. I'm doing enough reps to fatigue the local muscular system. Um, so I need to allow those uh, calcium ions and, and hydrogen ions need to get cleared out. Everything needs to come back into a certain balance. So if you're resting 30 seconds, it's definitely incomplete. And you can do that on purpose, but I think if you're doing that, you're not really stressing the hypertrophy, you're stressing more of an endurance component. And we'll talk about that in another video. So with hypertrophy, you're going to it. You need to make sure that that muscular system uh, rests. So one way you can do it is you can pair upper body exercises with lower body exercises. And you can do this kind of like whole body routine where you jump back and forth between upper and lower, upper and lower. And in those situations, you can rest like 60 to 90 seconds. And then while you do the lower body exercise, perhaps your upper body stuff is resting during that. And, and you can kind of, you can densify your training, right? You can make it a little bit more efficient. Now, it doesn't always work that way because if you're doing pull-ups and then you go do deadlifts, are you not using your back muscles while you do your deadlifts? You... <laughs> try it you absolutely are so it doesn't always work if you're doing if you're pairing it with like a single leg exercise that that would work a little bit better um but if you're if you're pairing exercises i would look for a rest period of like uh 60 to 90 seconds probably now if you're doing the exercise standalone where i just take one exercise and i do all those sets and then i move on to the next exercise well then you can we can kind of look at this a little bit more purely um I have seen some of the biggest people that I've known, they will rest like at least three minutes um, and he's sometimes even closer to five. And this is approaching those that that nervous system, that strength demand rest period that we've discussed previously in another video. You should watch that. Um, but what we have to we have to kind of do here is clear out the the byproducts in the local muscular system so you might not need that whole five minutes um, but as fatigue accumulates you're going to need more and more and more rest if you're going to maximally deform the muscle right so what's going to deform the muscle more weight more reps that you know pushing yourself to that last little bit where you don't really think you can get it that's kind of the name of the game here um, so in those cases, I'm going to take at least two minutes if the set wasn't that hard. Um, you know, I'm going to take three minutes probably on average, and then I might take even upwards of five minutes if, you know, maybe I've done a few reps and I'm still or I've done a few sets. Sorry, excuse me. And I'm still trying to stress myself then. You know, that those fatigue byproducts build up and it takes longer and longer and longer to get rid of them um, to maximize your ability to still do stuff. So in those cases, I might need even five minutes of rest. 
Okay, summary. If you're pairing exercises, maybe you can get away with 60 to 90 seconds of rest for hypertrophy purposes. Um, but if you are doing a standalone exercise, you might need two, three, even five minutes of rest.